Hi, this is Joe Levi with ATG USA. I'm a senior MEP technical specialist, and today we're going to talk about plotting out of Revit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one of my sheet views. And uh, as you can see here, I've already opened up one of my sheet views. My next option that I'm looking for here is if I don't have my plot settings that I may have created in the past brought over into this project, I will go to the Manage tab, Transfer Project Standards, and I will select the link to copy out of. Um, keep in mind, if you're looking to copy from one project to the next, you'll have to have that project open up in the same instance of Revit as your current project in order for this function to work where you're copying from one project to the next. So in this case, I have my Autodesk Architect Model underscore 21. Um, that is linked into this project um, already open to copy from. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to check none. I'm going to hit PR for print settings. And this allows me now to uh, bring across my print settings. So I'll bring these print settings across and I can select the OK button. And then that will give me that option uh, to bring those print settings across. Being that this is generic, I'm not bringing this across today as I've already got some print settings already uh, included into this project from previous. Now, once I've got my print settings that I need, my next step is going to be to come up to my quick access toolbar up here at the top. And I've got this print option. Also control P is another way to access that. And I will select print. So now my reasoning, reasoning for wanting to uh, stay in an actual sheet view is because when I come to the current window under print range, I'll have the option to uh, go and preview that sheet and make sure that sheet's aligned accurately to my area. So let's start at the top here. So printer. So I select Bluebeam PDF. I do not print out of Revit. I always drop everything to a uh, PDF through Bluebeam first, and then I do my plotting from Bluebeam instead, um, because traditionally I have to send my, my PDFs off to uh, different engineers and, and other companies who are putting together the whole package, whether it's a GPC or an architect firm. Once I've established that I'm looking to do um, Bluebeam for my printer type, my next step I'm going to go to is going to be my settings option down here. I'll go to setup. And in this case, if I do my pull down, you can see traditionally we'll start at in session. Within this specific project here, um, these are 30 by 42 uh, sheets. So that's my title block size. And then I'm going to select a preset here of 30 by 42 print black lines. 100% center. So my options here are 30 by 42 percent or 30 by 42 print black lines 100% center. Um, I've also got the uh, FTP or fit to page option. I've got a 100% center um, color option and a 100% more of a fit to page color option as well. So let me show you guys the uh, the 30 by 42 black lines fit to page center first. So I'll select OK, and you'll see my settings here. We always place uh, our paper placement on center. OK, and we've got some other options here. So we've either got under Zoom, fit to page, or Zoom. Uh, we always go with landscape. And then um, we've also got um, some additional information, which is where we can select our appearance. So whether it's going to be high, medium, or low present or presentation for raster quality. And then our color is black lines, grayscale, or color. So traditionally, um, we do black lines. And then if you need to adjust uh, those color features, you'll want to go through your, your, uh, your view tab or your manage tab and make sure that your lines are, are adjusted, your line weights, and, and everything along those lines. So. Outside of that, here's the fit to page option here. We'll select OK. Now we've got our current view selected, so I'm going to select preview. What this is going to do is it's going to show me the problem that we run into with fit to page here in Revit. 
In Revit, fit to page leaves a margin traditionally on the outside of our title block. So what we'll do in, to fix this problem, I'll come up here to the top of my, uh, my title bar and I'll select print. Then I'll come back into my settings uh, under our print options here. And I will change that to our 100% center. So 30 by 42 black lines, 100% center options. That will change my zoom feature from fit to page to uh, zoom at 100%. I'll select OK. Then I'll come in and I'll select preview. And now you can see my sheet lines up accurately to my actual 30 by 42 uh, uh, sheet range. And now I can select print. Then at this point, now I can come down and if I'm gonna print multiple sheets, I'll come down to selected under my print range. So selected views slash sheets. I'll select the uh, option here that says select. And once I get into this option, um, traditionally you'll either see something that's pre-selected prior or you'll see in session. So I have in session listed here right now. What I will do is I'm gonna check none. I will also um, uncheck views because we don't plot views. And then I will come, come in here and I will select all my sheets that are gonna be covered in this series. Once I do that, I will check these sheets. And then what I do is anytime there's a deliverable or anything along those lines, whether it's gonna be a deliverable going out to an architect or GPC, or if it's going to be something that we're going to do internally, like a review set or maybe a page turn, I will, um, I'll create a save setting for that so that way we can come back later if need be and we can see what went out during those specific sets. So what I'll do is I'll select save as, and in this case, we've already got a DD set. So what I will call, uh, what I'll do with this one is I'm going to start by adding the date to so 2020, October 19th. And I'm going to refer to this as a um, plumbing permit set. Okay, and I'll select the OK button. I'll select OK. And then my next option here is going to be to come to this file option. So I can create a combined set of all my sheets under one specific file, or I can create individual files for each one of my sheets. So traditionally what I like to do um, is I will create individual um, files. So I'll select the browse. Once I select browse, um, I like to take whatever the name is and bring it down to absolutely as little as possible. So traditionally the name will be um, a file name uh, such as the, um, the file name that we have here. What I'll do is I'll bring that down and I can key in a letter or whatever, select the save option. And then now when I, select OK, I'll get the option print separate files um, is going to be our box that pops up and it says you have cho chosen to print eight views slash sheets as separate files. Do you wish to continue? I'll select yes. All right, now that we've managed to, uh, to get into our save as box to start the process of actually uh, saving our um, PDFs, I'll navigate to wherever my folder is going to be at. So PDFs, um, we'll do this uh, 2020, uh, 10, 19 plumbing permit set. Okay. Yeah. And I'll go in here. And then now this is where um, the first thing that, that I'm going to see here, you guys should all see this option where there's a checkbox that says open file. What that prompts is whenever you create this PDF and, and you go in and adjust the naming, click save. For every single PDF, it's going to open up um, that PDF in Bluebeam. So if you don't have Bluebeam opened, um, 
or whatever your PDF viewer is, it's going to try to open it, which can take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes, depending on, depending on the set. Also, if you're working on a set that, um, for instance, is maybe a little larger than normal, um, and you're, you've got so much bandwidth that you can utilize on, uh, with your PC, um, it may be wise to come in here and uncheck this box because it will allow you to save and, and open um, those PDFs after you've already created them instead of during the process. So that's what I traditionally do, especially considering I've had multiple uh, versions um, per discipline of uh, PDF sets that need to be delivered at 100 plus sheets per set. So once I uncheck this open file, I'll come in here and I will start and I will remove the small little pieces of information um, prior to the sheet number and sheet name. I'll select save. Box will pop up again. This is for individual, select save. So delete, select save. Come in here, save as, same scenario. Delete everything prior to the page number and the file name. And as you can see uh, up above, you can see the naming convention that I have here. Okay. So if you are only required to put page numbers, um, you could very well go through this process. Some people will go through on the back end and, um, and clean up their, their file names. Um, in this case, this is traditionally what I'm accustomed to sending out. So sheet number and then uh, sheet name uh, as a PDF uh, file name. So that's why I continue to go through this process here. So just about done with this option here. And I'm saving that, that other sheet right there. And here we go. And just like that, we finished that process. So for any future questions, please feel free to reach out to us here at ATG USA. Thank you and have a good day.